Alright, that's one test done. Now I'm gonna eat something in the kitchen. Hopefully, nobody didn't touch my test. Huh, what is that in front of me? Oh, so I see it was Alex's test left by the table, I. Well, guess what, I'm gonna light up the test and set his test on fire by using a lighter and a match. He deserves to get a bad grade for being so mean to us all of the time. That's right, burn, baby burn. Hey, why do I smell burning? Oh no, my test. It's burning to ashes. I'm getting a fire extinguisher before a fire spreads out even worse. Phew, that was a close one. Thank god I put out that fire before the fire spreads out the entire living room. But now my test is burning due to the fire being burned. I wonder who could have done this. Wait a second, Robert, I knew it was you because you were the only one in the living room. Did you do it? Well, um, sorry, I can't explain all of this. I am leaving. Not so fast mister, you're not walking out of the living room until you ask my question. Did you, or you didn't burn my test into ashes to cause it on fire? Alright, fine, I'm gonna admit it, yes. I set your test on fire because I don't want you to get a good score from your test. So, while you're not here, I set the test on fire. I thought it would be sure as funny. Robert, that wasn't very funny of what you did. I just seriously can't believe you set my test on fire with a lighter and a match. Now, thanks to you, not only it was arson, but I'll also get my points taken off when I go to school tomorrow. This is your fault, Robert. That's it. You are grounded for two days. Give me a lighter and a match, and go straight to your room right now. God, I hate you so much.